Hello. This is going to be an interesting recording because I'm going to be going back and forth a lot on uh, the rubric for this assignment. This is a complete game now. I might make a separate video later just showing off purely gameplay, but it is where it's at. Um, so the first thing on the criteria is previous milestones. All that stuff is still here. We will go through that as we go, though. You'll see it just kind of being there. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Game manager, singleton exists, uh, easily controls objects, main game logic, game stage. Yep, yep, yep. Um, if we find it, scripts, game manager. Um, so it does most of that. I will be fully honest, we're... The only thing it's not doing is game states. Everything else, it does a lot of communication with them, though. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. The health bar, the health also has some additional stuff to communicate, but this keeps control of your high score, your kill score, which is honestly just your actual score, and your lives. Just making sure we're recording. Yep. And beyond that, it also has other things like the new prefabs for multiplayer. Um, second players, uh, transform, uh, player two controller prefab, which is just using the arrow keys and uh, number pad one to shoot. Uh, a bool for multiplayer, basically, if this is true, then yes, we are very, very much. So this is, if this is true, we'll play the multiplayer version. If it's false, we'll play the single player version. Mainly, as you kind of go through, once you get, we have, as you can see, spawn player is no longer in the start. We are not doing that. We are instead getting update. If scene manager can active scene equals main or multiplayer test. If player count equals zero, spawn players. If multiplayer equals equals true, spawn player two. Easy as that. And also within the update is if kill score is greater than high score. High score now equals kill score, so it updates that constantly, so you can always have your high score updated. Otherwise, spawn player is what it used to be. Um, if multiplayer is true, it now instantiates. Hmm. Oh, I see. So this is this. If multiplayer is not true, it does all this, and if it is true, it gets the multiplayer uh, version one. Basically, just so the screen cuts in half because I was struggling getting the code to communicate with the half screens. Spawning player, um, reload was something that we used to use. This sets lives to six as well, uh, gets the camera component, all that kind of stuff. This was something that we used to use, basically, if you're in starting area or not in starting area. It was slightly important at the time, but these two were honestly no longer needed and they could be removed without any issue. Um, just speaking of removing things in general, I think it's notable to say that uh, we were able to get the game to load out. Um, press that real quick. Hopefully it opens on this screen and not on the other one. But we managed to load and build the game out. No issues. Also just, since you can't really hear, these are just buttons. Main menu brings you back to main menu. Options brings you back here. Uh, next button will quit you out of the game, but we can't actually show that off in the editor because it would it just doesn't work. The quit dot apple application dot quit just does not work within the editor, but it works elsewhere. Start screen. Um start screen exists. So we do have this as our technical start screen where you can press single player or multiplayer to basically set your mode. Uh main menu, just so you can go over here, get your main menu screen, play the game options um and the quit button which doesn't work within here but as demonstrated already i guess i can just do this part in here and time mark this hello uh the previous point kind of already mentioned this but just boom this is our you kind of your start screen you can go to your main menu though go back to options and just since we actually do have the game built out if you press exit you can actually exit the game. The quit button does, in fact, work. Option screen. Um, there are no SFX things. There's nothing to uh, set map for the day. The only thing that the options menu is here for right now is either quitting the game, going back to main menu, 
for a setting if you're a multiplayer or a single player. Also, obviously, you can hear the music going on right now, so game music. Game music is controlled by music volume option. Not exactly. Uh, game music does exist, but not controlled by volume options. That would be accurate. Sound effects. Uh, gameplay sounds, when tank fires, death, bullet hits, SFX, volume settings. Cool. Let's go ahead and start playing the game. Don't know why I did that. It does that sometimes to me. If we just... Instant here. I think we kept pressing each thing enough. Yeah, it gets weird like that. Also, as you can see here, there's a quit option in the main menu option from in here. So, the shooting sound will be hard to hear, but it is in the game. Mainly for when you hit something, these bullets that are bigger obviously do a lot more boom sound effect. Uh, sound effects in general. So, also, score pickup. Your score does go up by 50 when you pick up that. A lot of destroying pillars goes up by 100. If you destroy one of these big enemies, you get a ton of points. Um, additionally, there's different sound effects. Whenever you grab different variables, we'll grab a different power up. Might be hard to hear that one over all the explosions, but there was a sound effect too from that. Let's just head over to a different part of the map. Um, score pickups, as kind of already mentioned, yep, you get that. Each one is just 50. Just kind of make our way over here. Yep. So the speed up sound when you get that. And for the sounds of you dying, we are on a sliver of health. I will mention that we are not at zero. But if you look very barely, there is some red. So if we just... There's that mist sound when you pick that up. We'll let this guy kill us, though. Alright, five lives. Boom, we go back here, we respawn. As you can see, these things have health bars that are in the world, but... That is enough for showing off sound effects. Basically, the important thing is that... Uh, all of our prefabs, which are mainly... The main important ones are the explosions in this case. These ones all have a thing where they play the explosion sound. That sound effect alone will be covering the tank firing, tank death, bullet hitting, uh, power-up sounds. So we have power-up sounds that was showed. Buttons, menus, those don't have... Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. Gameplay sounds are controlled not by SFX settings. That would be correct. That is all that correct. Cool. Uh, score pickup, as already mentioned, but I will just reiterate it. Uh, gain score for picking up, inherent appropriate pickup, and power up class. Boom. 50 life. Uh, another 50 points, sorry. And another 50 points. I believe a pillar might have been destroyed too. But yeah. The thing is with the score is they usually get points when they destroy pillars as well. So that is score pickup, score on kill, uh, as already shown, but I will just reiterate it so it's simpler. Let's go up to this big guy. He's about 1,400 points. So you kill him, boom, 1,400 points. Let's kill this guy. Boom, 200 points. Let's try to get the speedster. He's always a tricky one. There we go. You kind of got to put it in front of him. And that is scoring on kill. I guess we can also try to do these. You do get a score also for destroying a pillar. And then a score for killing. I had to be really quick there because we were actually low on health. And those things can kind of one-shot you. Bah. Boom. The important thing is when you respawn, you're technically in the same level. But that changes uh, otherwise. I'm not sure what I'm trying to say by that. Basically, you would respawn in the same area until you run out of lives and have to restart the game. Score and kill. Split screen cameras. Woo! Non split screen view. The technique is obviously shown. Is there also our main camera still on? Anywho. We might need to double check something. But multiplayer, play game. You can play as both characters. Kind of hard to do, but. They are very much different characters. Let's just have them both go to hopefully different areas. Because these walls do close off once you go through them. 
that would be the only like point of contention in my mind is uh maybe resetting that for this game mode is when you're multiplayer turning that ability off because otherwise it makes it a lot easier when you're just playing as one person kind of hard to do this but split screen uh two player ui that's also being shown um uh, yep multifunctional in both single player and second player world space health bars all of your enemies definitely have world space health bars you just have one on the screen though um as you can see the ui is still working let's have our player die real quick though Bop goes back up there. Accidentally lost some health though due to the 0.1 uh, delay. That could probably be re-altered. That was during some test phase stuff, basically. As you can see, they do share lives and they do share a score. So you are working together with your friend. Though you could technically kill them as well. Unless I create an entirely new prefab to basically just turn off friendly fire. But well, that is that we can kind of close that so I can scroll down on the other screen. So world space health bars, two player UI, game over. Uh, when lives are less than two, a uh, gamer works correctly in two player mode. When one player dies, the other player changes living. Not true. Um, in my case, that is not how the game works. You could definitely make it like that. You give each player their own set of lives and you'd have to code the game a little bit differently. But since I just have lives in game manager, it is kind of just where it's at. I kind of ran into an issue where if I ever basically blew up the game character, we'd run into a lot of issues. Um, I suppose you could just blow up the components, but let's play the game real quick. Single player, play game. Uh, we will go through all of our lives. Are we already almost through? Bug freeze the lot. Nope, there's more. There's more. Okay. Almost done. We kind of just let ourselves die. I could also have just uh, set the number of lives down to, to one, but... Like, this game is incredibly hard and easy to die at the same time. Let's just get one of these guys. They can kill you in, like, two or three shots. Oh, we uh, flipped him over on accident. The issue is they can also kill your uh, enemies for you. Boom, okay. Down to one life, so we technically have, like... Another life remaining. Oh my goodness, stop killing each other. Okay, guys, 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 I, I need to die. I need to show off that uh, when I die, we go to game over, man. <laughs> Just ram me that board. Boom. All right, game over. I guess for some reason it actually wasn't updating the high score, but... We would probably have to do that on other areas where it updates the score. You would think it just works though. Cause um, if we go to scripts, main menu, uh, that's not what we need. UI scripts. High score! So the text inherently says zero. I guess it does just do that. It does not update? If game manager does not equal null. I guess it's killing the game manager somehow. Bizarre. If we just set it here to... Get this, basically. We'd probably do like an else statement just to make it zero otherwise, but scripts. I guess scenes is actually what we need. The loading screen, which is now the game over screen. Hmm. Something is not working correctly, I suppose. Because Game Manager is here. 
I guess it's just not updating its own high score. Maybe it can't actually update itself. That is unfortunate. That is something I'll figure out. Where is that at again? It's just in the update. Because it's not inside that. It's purely inside the update. And it's checking it every time. At least it should be. Because if kill score is greater than high score, it then should set high score to kill score. So there's no real reason why it shouldn't be working as far as I'm aware. I don't know. That is me right now. Um, so, game over works. I guess we gotta show it off in two-player mode, though. Main menu, options. Let's get ourselves to two-player mode. Player. Boom, 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 boom. So we kind of both need to die, don't we? That was kind of the entire point. I started moving with one, but I want both of them to kind of just die as quick as possible. Both spawn to the same area, but boom, we can kind of make them go elsewhere. Wait, we can have them kill each other. Where are you, friend? It would be the only one without a health bar. Where are you? And I'm so sad. I cannot sleep. I will not sleep. There you are, you jerk. Yeah. Yeah. So this still gets your score correctly somehow, but um, at least at the moment, high score is never updated. I would probably just have to include it in all the areas where I'm updating score and just be like, I don't know, man. Get that, make it that. Like, I could try to make it more effective, but if... Um, Anyone knows exactly why, or you, the teacher who's the, eventually going to watch this, knows why that the high score is not actually updating it. I would love to know. Um, otherwise, bug-free, error-free. This is an error, I suppose, but otherwise everything else is working well. Honestly, you could technically just remove high score. I just thought it was a good idea to include. Uh, project organization, hierarchy, uh, game exceeds minimum expectations. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. We can go over some new scripts, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. sound scripts. This is basically just the explosion sound, just to make sure the clip is played on start. This is just for anything that's playing a clip normally. Um, the sound change once is in a component that's now been added to Game Manager. Basically just constantly works off this void update. Uh, make sure M audio equals get component audio source. Scene manager dot get active scene dot name equal if sorry if the scene manager name basically equals main or equals multiplayer test it will play the main clip boom gets clip uh makes it main clip plays main clip uh if active scene name equals main oh sorry guys uh if audit and then so if the scene name equals main or equals multiplayer test then if it's not already If not all ready playing main clip, it will then set it to the main clip. And then it's going to be very similar things for the other two levels. If not, so if we're on main menu or options, if not already playing main menu clip, it will now play the main menu clip. And then lastly, if the get active scene name equals loading scene and the audio doesn't already equal, if not already playing 
game over clip, then it will play the game over clip. Basically just constantly detecting what level it is and getting that audio to work appropriately. Otherwise, a lot of effects kind of just do their own things. Uh, if we go to the prefabs, all the things like Invincible have a thing now where they're spawning in their own sound effect. Basically just being, if we find it, Invincible Player Spawn, Invincible Player Sound. This will just play the sound as it comes into existence, being, in this case, Invincible Hum Shorter, which is an edited version. I made all my sounds uh, their, own, their own folder. They're all OGGs. They're all being processed and activated appropriately. All our folders so far are art, prefab, scenes, scripts, sound, and text mess pro. That's where all the sounds are. Um, otherwise, for scripts, we just have a lot of stuff to do with kind of with multiplayer now. The health is handling a good amount of stuff. Basically, it's just testing if public uh, map life basically it will increment life down a little bit. Um, Make your current health now equal your max health, which is funny to me that current health equals max health, but in game manager, it can't get your score to equal your high score. I guess you could do it in here. Hmm. Interesting. That's that's something that you could probably do. Yeah, on a destruction, you could make it to where when you die, it now sets it in here, because if this can set and then again, this is health setting its own variables, so not entirely sure. Not entirely sure. So organization, it's here. Some of the other random stuff is just kind of out here. We have a lot of just UI scripts, which are all kind of very simple, open. Oh, they're all over the place, aren't they? Anyway, high score update should be updating high score. But it doesn't seem to exactly be doing so. Convert to string high score. Options menu. Maybe this is the problem. This isn't actually updated on its own. But the other thing should be. Options menu just kind of does all the stuff. Gets the button. Task on click. AI controllers, score update. This is just text that has to do with the score, and basically you will constantly get the uh, on update. It will get the kill score and convert it to string and make it the text. <laughs> Multiplayer button is basically just the main important thing is that on click it sets game manager dot multiplayer to true whereas single player does the opposite sets multiplayer to false and then load scenes an option because we used to have them load the scene in but now we just have the play button do that instead which is kind of just going off of base button functions so if we go to button base it's quite literally just getting a scene name um on click you load the scene name. In this case, usually it's main or it's main menu, depending on where you're clicking from. Or sometimes if you're just doing the quit, where is quit button, exit button, that works. Quit game, application.quit. And that is where the game is at right now. It does have most of what is desired to be the game. There is a couple of notable things that are missing, a couple of things that were just kind of cut short due to time constraints, but that is the game. Thank you for watching. And I also need to pull up OBS getting ended, but there we go. Thank you so much.